Should you focus on quality or quantity when starting out on YouTube and how can you grow fast even without spending a lot of time on each video? So let's say there's two people trying to grow the same kind of YouTube channel. One of them posts one video every month so he can focus on quality and the other one posts one video every week so he can focus on quantity. Now after half a year the person who focuses on quantity will have six videos out and the person who focuses on quantity will have 24 videos out. Now what will probably happen between these two is that the person focusing on quality will have one video perform really well, three videos perform average and two videos perform really bad. And the person focusing on quantity will probably have four videos that perform outstandingly, about 12 videos performing average and eight videos performing badly. Now, the decision making process between those people would be very different at that point because the person focusing on quality won't have enough information to make a decision on what affected the one video to work well and the two videos that perform badly to perform bad. It could be the camera angles, it could be the way he edited it, it could be the topic selection, it could be anything. On the other hand, the person that has 24 videos, he'll be able to see patterns spread out through all of the videos, basically looking at, hmm, this topic is performed well, this style of editing performed better than other styles of editing. This kind of structuring the video performed a lot better than other videos. And by focusing on quantity first, he can now focus on making quality videos about the topics and in a style that works better because he has the data to actually back up his decision making process on which video to make. On the other hand, the person focusing on quality will have a pretty hard time deciding on what to do next and will probably give up pretty soon. When you're starting out, in my opinion, you should focus on quantity first so you can get more feedback and so you know which videos and topics and styles work better for your audience. Now, as soon as you get out of the starting phase where you basically are doing videos for free and you start to make money, you can reinvest that money into thumbnail designers, editors, maybe script writers and free up more time for yourself so you can select better topics, write better videos and do more research so you can nail down the quality aspect too and get more views with the same topics you covered before in the first 24 videos. Now there is actually a way to get more views even if you don't focus on quality first and that's by focusing on three key needle movers that don't take a lot of time to do but make your videos a lot more likely to perform. The first needle mover is, hey, if you wanna build your personal brand in 2024 on YouTube, but it just seems like too much effort and time, we can help you turn your YouTube channel from this to this, like we did for other clients by taking over everything. Ideation, scripting, editing, publishing, SEO, repurposing. You only have to do a little bit of ideation with me and just press record. And for most of our clients, it takes less than five hours per month. So if you're tired of spending tons of time on your video and not seeing results, book a call below and we'll make your channel and personal brand grow in 2024. Thanks. Just picking the right target audience or the right target avatar. And what that means is you pick one person to make the videos for, to solve problems for, and to give directions to. So the people who you're targeting know exactly that the videos are catered to them. For example, if I am creating videos on how to grow on YouTube and all of a sudden I start to create videos about how to do everything on the internet and maybe some of the social media marketing agency stuff or cold email or stuff like that, a person who comes to the channel through a YouTube growth video would look at other videos and say, ah, this isn't for me because he talks about cold email actually and SMMA stuff. And the person who comes from cold email would go and look at the videos and say, this isn't for me because he talks about YouTube and he talks about marketing agencies. So the more you're focused, at least in the beginning, the higher the chance the people will subscribe and follow you because they know that the content is made exactly for them. So focus on one target avatar. Now the second needle mover is doing keyword and topic research. 
I have a video about how to do keyword research and I'll link it up here but by using tools like TubeBuddy or VidIQ you can basically know which topics or questions have very high search volumes and very low competition and that way if you position your video in the middle you basically get free traffic going your way because not a lot of people are making enough videos to satisfy the consumption and YouTube promotes you even if you have a small channel even if you don't have views because the topic is just so highly searched for this is the tactic we use for a lot of our clients and it works really well especially for channels that are just starting out so after you pick a target avatar you search the topics they search for you see where there's high demand and low competition and you make the videos on those topics now the third needle mover is making your video structured now how we do this with every video is we first assign an ideal outcome that the viewer has by the end of this video so for example by the end of this video you'll know exactly if you should focus on quality or quantity we're starting out and you'll also know what the three things you can do to increase the chance of getting views are even if you can't spend a lot of time or money on it now when you have the ideal outcome ready you then select the structure of the video so is it a storyline is it a listicle is it a step-by-step -step guide now after you've selected the outcome and the structure you then just fill up the steps or the list in the structure with relevant information that will achieve the ideal outcome. Now when filling up those steps, you have to be careful to be as clear and concise as possible and not to go on tangents about stuff that are not going to achieve the ideal outcome. Only include stuff that will help the person achieve the ideal outcome in the most efficient way possible and that way your retention probably isn't going to be too low and the person will be more likely to follow because you actually solved the problem for them. Now out of all the things that you can do to increase YouTube click-through rates, retention, views, I think picking the right topic is the most important one because it will affect the results that you get right off the bat by a mile more than anything else, than a better camera, than better editing, than better script writing. And you can watch our next video here that talks about how to do keyword research in vidIQ so you can select the right topic so you can get ranked even if you have a small channel or you haven't even uploaded any video at all. See you in the next video.